and welcome to Board Gaming at Home. My name's Kelly. Ian. I'm Russ. I'm Ty. I'm yet ages nine. And today we're playing a family playthrough of Timeline Inventions. Yeah, Timeline Inventions. Um, there's a whole series of timeline games um, with different topics and things. And this one is Inventions. And in this game, what we're going to be doing is we've each got five inventions. And we've got to put them down on the timeline where we think they're invented. So the first card we're going to draw, which is the invention of glasses, which was in 1299. Wow. And yeah, that's a long ago, do you think, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, and then we're going to take turns picking a card and choosing whether it's before or after. And as we play, the timeline's going to get longer. If you put it in the right place, that's fine. Your card stays down there. If it's wrong, you discard it and draw another card. And uh, play continues. And the winner's the first one to place all of their cards. So the youngest player goes first. I think these, this... This? What's this? It's the inventor of the laptop computer. Okay, so when do you think the laptop was? I think it's after. After, after the glasses, yeah. I think yeah. you're probably safe. 1981. Oh, was it that late? There we go. Right, so, Mummy's turn. Well, right, I'm going to do the invention of the smart card. And I'm going to put it after the laptop. Mm-hmm. Why? I know they had phones on that before, but I don't think they'd have smart cards in, so... 1974! <laughs> no. I'm wrong! She's wrong. <laughs> there we go, so she discards yeah. and draws another card. Ian's yeah. turn. In fact, all the corks go. Yep. Before. Before the glasses. Flip it over. Oh, no. 1795. <laughs> oh, that one. Just a tad. 500 years. Right, okay then. So, hmm. I think. I'm going to say the invention of the compact disc. Now, I remember on Tomorrow's World in the 1980s, I think it who was, it? I can't remember the names of the presenters, but I remember seeing Compact Disc on <coughs> Tomorrow's World, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was after laptop computers. Wow. I could be wrong. Yes, oh, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so dreamer. smart. Wow. Two years before <laughs> laptop computers. I'm way out by miles like me. I've got the original for the locomotive, and that goes right there. 1804, no? You're, what? you're wrong. Well. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Invention of the blue jeans. <laughs> yeah, I've got the invention of the dynamite. <laughs> My feeling is to put this after glasses, but just because I've been wrong on everything else, I'm going to put it before. <laughs> See, I'm going to put it after glasses. <laughs> so you take another card. It's Here's so turn. Invention of fat light in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good bet. Yep, 1957 yeah. for the invention of satellites. Oh, nice <laughs> right, okay, so. Hmm. That one's tricksy. Not sure, Mr. Let's Don't say that the invention of the submarine, in brackets, the turtle, I'm going to say it was after glasses, but before satellites. Wrong. Oh. And I'm right. 1775. There we go. The invention of the mouse would have been after that top. Would it? Mm, yeah. Because in theory, that wouldn't need a mouse. No, what about a computer? Well, they wouldn't have a computer. Well, can I flip it over and see if he's right? He's not. No, in 63. It's a mouse. They had com <laughs> Laptop's not the first type of computer. Computers were around for years before laptops. <laughs> I didn't know that. Kelly's <laughs> yeah, turn. What's um, this? The invention of the thermometer. Uh, let's put the pencil in that hole. Invention of the pencil. Yeah, in that hole. 1795. Oh, I'm wrong. That whole one. <laughs> I'm so smart. Yeah. yeah. Role playing games. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow, no. It's, it's eight definitely short, not right? that early. Oh, yeah. I thought that was 19. No. no. <laughs> yeah, 1974, so it would have been just before the laptop computer. Dimension of. What did I put? No, no. My turn. Miserable. So, <clears throat> the discovery of asteroids. Now, this could be tricky. It's obviously before satellites. But, could it just be ones that they spotted in space back in the really early centuries? Or, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, do? let's try it in here. Let's see. 1801. Yep. Yes, you're right. right. There we go. <clears throat> um, um... I have literally no idea what I Why don't I have glasses glass laying? So I reckon about there. What for? Oh, the thermometer. 
Yeah, you're right. Well done. 16 12 for the invention of the thermometer. Does that need a glass? Mm-hmm. Right, I've got the atomic bomb. And <laughs> I have no idea. That's a nuke! That's a nuke! So I'm going to put it in that hole. Like that. Oh, yes. yeah. The nuke oh. was invented. That's not a nuclear bomb, that's an atomic bomb. That's what it looks it's like. The same thing, isn't it? Pull tab. I don't know. Pull tab can. Oh, wait, yeah. Pull can. tab can. Wow. There. Wow, really? I'm just swing them two. Oh, wrong one. Oh, Should have been it? that side. There. 62. Oh, yeah, you need to reveal it so people can see. With your hand yeah, that way. There we go. So 62. Where did you say it was? There. there. Oh, so you weren't, you weren't far out. <laughs> one card. I thought that was more recent than that. Yeah, I would have thought that as well. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm going to try the invention of the cannon. <laughs> now. Cannon? I thought I know. that was a flashlight. <laughs> I know from when I was in the reenactment society that there were cannons in the 1640s. So it's a matter of which side of glasses it comes. Ooh. Um, dynamite, things like that. I'm going to say it was after glasses. Let's take a chance. I could be wrong. No, no you're one right. right. Oh, it's quite close, but yeah, I was right. Tin opener. When are you putting a tin opener? Maybe in there. In there. Go on, then. You think it was invented after 1957, yeah? Yeah. Go on, then. What? 1858. 100 <laughs> years out. <laughs> but, the, but the invention of the can was there. No, it wasn't the can. It was, that was the pull, pull, that was top. The, the pull top on the can. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> you never said that. You just yeah. said the invention of the I can. Really now, no, did they cool. have pressure cookers early? <laughs> or were they a late invention? I'm going to put them before the atomic bomb, though. I'm going to stick the pressure cooker in there. Oh! <laughs> no, way no. before it should have been right down here. Yeah! So that's wrong. Okay. Ooh, they need it to make drums. Right. Ian's turn. Right. <clears throat> earlier than the locomotive was 1804. So it's earlier than that. There we there. Dicker there. 1763. Yes. Yep, spot on. Well done. Right, so Empire State Building completed on the metric system. They've both got to be 1900s. That's getting a bit crowded. Oh, actually, I'll tell you. I, I think the Empire State might have been late 1800s. I could be wrong. Well, for now, let's try it and see if it fits. 20s. Oh, oh 62, 62, really? 62, wow. Yeah, fair way out. Okay. So I've got to draw another one. Try <coughs> your turn. What's that? Adhesive notes, I think. Oh, tape. Blue jeans, electric battery. I have no idea brain. when any of these were invented. Take a guess then. I can't. When do you think the plane was made? The plane would have been early because of the wars. Well, go on then. I reckon it's before that, but after that. Well, go on then. What? 1903. <laughs> the war was before that, the like, hell aeroplanes. What war? Well, the well, there, weren't, there weren't any wars before 1903 with aeroplanes because the aeroplanes weren't invented until 1903. <laughs> <laughs> right, the invention of the wristwatch. Right, we've got glasses down here, so let's put the wristwatch in there. Oh. No, 15, you're out by one. It was after the cannon. Oh, it doesn't even say wristwatch, it says watch. <laughs> yeah. Invention on the printing press. <laughs> printing press, yeah. There. What, in this one? Yeah. We have, yes, 1437. Well done. Right, so we're getting a little bit long, so we're going to split this into two rows, just to make it easier to manage. So okay. I've got the invention of adhesive tape with the introduction of the metric system. Hmm. So I reckon the metric s- system... Oh, this is tricksy, tricksy, tricksy. Now I remember in, is it the 60s or 70s we went from Imperial to metric on money? But whether that was when the invent Put that down. when the metric system was invented or not, I don't know. I'm normally wrong, so I'm going to go against my gut. I'm going to go a little bit earlier and say it's in there. No. Oh, I'm out for two years. Oh no. You said earlier as well. Yeah. I went earlier than I thought, and it still wasn't early enough. You got rubbish bags. I've got the invention of the Pythagorean Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras. I went triangles. Yep. Well done. That was an easy one. Super early. I remember that one. Right, so, what do I choose? I'm going to put TV before the bomb. Right there. Yay! Yep, <laughs> I 
Okay, yeah. Pinching off the rubber. Here. Yep. No, 1770. Oh, slightly out. That's right, way up here. <laughs> Just slightly out. Oh. Well, that's what have I got. The invention of garbage bags or adhesive tape. I don't like either of these. Adhesive tape, let's take a shot in the dark. And so, I'm going to put it before, there's quite a big gap, there's a hundred years here, so let's see if it fits in there. Oh, yes, yes yeah. it does! Ah, yeah. My toe. What are you put, where are you putting jeans? I think they go right early. <laughs> that early? Really? No. It's definitely not that early. I insert your jeans. I thought they had jeans in pirate times. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. Oh let's put the milk cartons in between the TV and the atomic bomb. I don't know. Oh, right, no, go no. before the telly. Before, before the tape. tape. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try the miserables. Let me know. Or Les Miserables. <laughs> when was Les Miserables written? <laughs> no clue. No clue. Or published, that says. In there. Two years. 1862, oh, wow. so you're oh. only one out. <laughs> that was my second guess. Come on. I'll get it. Right, my turn. Eventually, garbage bags. The last one. Go on, can you get it right? I am. Um, it worked well for adhesive tape, so I'm going to go for that big hole there again, I think. And. No. No. 1950. <laughs> Three cards out. <laughs> I didn't think it would have been that recent, but. Okay, what have I got? It's what? obvious. After... No, 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 you're wrong. One what? card out. What? It should have been this steam side. Engine. Steam engine came before railroads. What? <laughs> they used to have steam boats, by the way. There's more than. There's, not all steam engines run on, on rails. <laughs> oh my god! They, they used to have steam powered lorries, Tom. I didn't know that. <laughs> there's a hundred year gap there. You so learn something new every day. Don't you? I'm going to put oh, the accordion in the middle. Not every oh. day. <laughs> Wrong face. That should have been all the way down there. Okay. Let's try the lightning rod. <laughs> This is funny. Yeah. Got caught out by this one before. Come <laughs> on. Oh. 1752. Well, I so was tempted to go in the gap. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done. Right, so I've got the invention of the motorcycle. A motorcycle? And this is another one of them ones that is quite tricky. If I did it before, I can't remember where it goes. It's good your memory is not much good. It's, it's, it? early, it's <laughs> earlier than you think. So I'm going to go, I'm going to try this big gap again. Yes. Oh, daddy one. Um, yeah, so. Ty was the first player, wasn't he? So that is a complete yeah. round. So yeah, I'll win. Because you, you'll kept once somebody gets rid of all their cards, you finish that current round in case somebody else does it in the same turn, and then you, you play off. But yeah, that's the end of the game, and yeah, found a game I can win at. <laughs> yeah, because that's one of his bad yeah. at it. <laughs> we, 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 we play this with Mia sometimes, and uh, she's only five, and um, yeah. she, she wins more often than we do. Um, yeah, potluck guessing seems to work quite well for her. You, you think you know things, you think you've got a fairly good idea when things are invented, but when you look and you see the timeline and you think, oh yeah, it was obviously then, but now you could be years out. It's, yeah, a lot of things are more, a, a longer ago than you think they are. And yeah, really interesting game. Do you like this one, Ty? Yes, it's a game that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is it good? Because I know nothing about the future. <laughs> it's not the future! This is the past! Past then. Yeah, but you learn, don't you? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't take anything in, it goes in there and out yeah, there. Right, what about mummy? Are you going to rate it first? Yeah. Go on then. Nine and three quarters. Ooh, almost a ten. <laughs> I must admit, I do like this game. As Russ said, you can think you know when roughly something's made and it can turn out you're 500 years out. <laughs> I would give it a Or you can be 350,000 years well, out. I was like going yeah, to say, I don't know. What? I was like 300,000 years out or something. Uh, it, was, it was crazy. It was the agriculture one, wasn't it? I can't remember that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good game. It's um, We've only ever played with four players. We've not played it at the big account yet. I yeah, just, so, play, yeah, it plays all the way up to eight. Um, with less players, you start with more cards. With higher players, you start with less cards. So, uh, yeah, it's. I'm looking forward to trying it at eight players. Yeah, it could be fun. They played so, it once. I think I've got to give it a nine because I really do like it, and I like the tin with all the yeah, embossed bits embossed on the front tin. of the tin. Yeah. <laughs> Ian, what? It's all right. There we go. That's all Ian ever says. 
You're giving a delicious slap-up right. meal for dinner. It's all right. <laughs> so, so we'll get out of Ian. So, yeah, all right is, is high praise from Ian. <laughs> and he's given it an eight. This is the first time he's played it. Ten minutes ago, he, he didn't even know what the game was. So, yeah, it's really quick to pick up and learn. And, yeah, obviously it's got a good initial impression for him. And, yeah, it's, it's a good giggle. Um, I'm always a, a bit stingier than the others. I'll probably give it a seven. Because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun and, yeah, quick ten-minute game and... Uh, yeah, it can, it can be a good laugh, but um, yeah, there's not a huge amount of interest here, but yeah. You, le you learn something new every day. No. Well, maybe if you're younger, with me. <laughs> I've got terrible memory. I've, yeah, we have all these cards, and I can't remember. There's 110 cards in here with all these different inventions and dates. And, you cannot yeah, remember 110. You can't remember them. But there's other sets as well, and I think you can com combine sets. Um, so that might be interesting to do in the future if Ooh, you do yeah, start to remember. <laughs> wow. So, um, yeah. There we go. So, did I actually give it a rating? I think I did, didn't I? Seven. seven. I did say seven. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. Right, so there we go. Let us know what you think of the game, if this one or if you've tried any of the other versions. Um, leave us a comment and let us know. Uh, don't forget to give us a like. Um, and to subscribe as well to stay up to date with our future videos. And check out our website at boardgamingathome.com. Boardgamingathome.com, uh, where you'll find more than just videos. We've got news and articles and blogs and, blogs and other bits and bobs there. <laughs> so, yeah, go check that out. And we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.